Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2024 Mathematics. Today, I will explain you how you can solve the complex analysis questions with the help of the shortcut tricks in this very short video. Myself, Dr. Harish Kar. You can simply follow my YouTube channel where you can find the playlist of the GATE Mathematics and you can see the various GATE 2024 Mathematics solutions related to numerical, linear programming, differential, partial differential as well as the other lectures available at here. If you are new to my YouTube video, you can simply subscribe my YouTube channel and join my WhatsApp group for the various discussions part. So let's start with this first question. The first question is which is related to the contour integral. How you can think about that? 2 pi iota sum of the residues. Fine. So how you can find the residue? I can find the pole. So the pole is my this is 0. So that means z will be 2 plus minus 4 minus 8 over 2. So that is 1 plus minus iota. So you have the two poles. One is 1 plus and other is 1 minus iota. Fine. So now I will check whether these two poles satisfy this ellipse condition or not. Firstly, 1 plus iota. 1 plus iota becomes iota minus 1. 1 plus iota becomes 3 plus iota. So what is the modulus of 1 minus iota? Root 2. It is my 9 plus 1, 10. So it is a 1.4 plus 3 point something which is less than of 8. Yes, this satisfied. I can check about the 1 minus iota. So if you substitute 1 minus iota, it is a minus iota minus 1. And 1 plus iota is a 3 minus iota. So this is root 2. This is 9 plus 1, 10 which is definitely less than 8. So both are inside the ellipsical, uh, elliptical region C. Then how you can find that? Now your target is to find this residue. So I can write this root as here. Now you have the two residues, one corresponding to alpha, second corresponding to the beta. What is the root? What is the residue at corresponding to the alpha? This is corresponding to alpha will be, I can write here. When you substitute z is alpha, it is alpha square over alpha minus beta. Corresponding to the beta will be beta square over beta minus alpha. And finally, you can add them. So 1 alpha minus beta will be the LCM. Alpha square minus beta square. That is alpha plus beta. What is the value of the alpha plus beta from here? 2. So what is the right answer of this? 2 pi iota into 2. 4 is the 4 pi iota is the right answer of this problem. Consider the following condition, function f from the c to c such that f of z is my 1 for all those z in the c, that is my domain, such that this is the condition, that means imaginary part of z is my 0. So basically, what does it mean? The function will be from r to c because the domain is basically r. Then which of the following conditions are satisfied? Uh, we have to look about the options later on. Firstly, can you think about a simple example which are defining from here and satisfy this property? You can see. Clearly say if you take the modulus value, it is my 1. It's satisfied property. Now look at the option. 1 is my entire function. Every constant function is my entire function. And it is a constant. But we can't take the option because this is a one counter example. There is a non-constant analytic function, but this is a constant analytic function which satisfied this, so that is a cross. There is an analytic function which satisfied infinitely many zeros, but it has no zero, so this option is also cancelled. Every entire function has no zero. That is also the correct statement, but we can't take them. Can you think about any other example whose modulus will be 1? Definitely it will be like here. So again you can see this value will be my 1 and you all know e raised to power iota z is my entire function. So once this is entire function, is it a constant? It is not a constant. So this option is also cancelled. Does it, it has a zeros? It has no zero. So this is, is also the right answer. So only the correct option is my d is the right answer. Okay, look at this another one. Capital S is the set which are defined like of this manner. Fine. Then, which one of them? So, it's an MCQ question, only one correct option. Which of the following function f, there exists 
a sequence of the polynomial there exists a sequence of the polynomials that are uniformly convergent to the f on the s very simple you can think about this concept firstly if you prove that s is your compact is it compact you can check about that it is a bounded yes is a close yes so s is my compact it is given that fine then there exists a sequence of the polynomial which can you which converges uniformly only only if f is your entire function fine whenever you have a sequence of the polynomials which converges uniformly on the compact set only only if f is your compact f is your entire function so clearly say this is not entire function why if you take that derivative with respect to z complement it's a one which is non zero e to the power z we all know this is the entire function real part of the z that is x which is not entire function because if you compare them u of x is my one v of y is my zero which are not same so this is cancel also z plus 1 whole square is not the entire function so the right answer is only c is the correct answer so you can see a very simple tips is whenever you have the sequence of the polynomial and it converges uniformly on the compact set only when f is my entire function that is a holomorphic function fix so we will see the next lecture on the linear transformation i hope you can like comment and share on my videos best of luck students thank you very much